Have you ever had a partner who can tell whether a patient is sick or not sick within the first few seconds of a call or a scenario? I bet some of you can also work this magic. Well, let's review this seemingly superhuman skill today. I'm Sean Haverson, and this is Code 3 Academy. Follow and like for more videos. I call this the doorway view assessment, and it's basically the pediatric assessment triangle used for all ages. Let's review. This assessment falls somewhere between the windshield view and actually making contact with your patient for the primary assessment. When assessing sick, what we really mean is that the patient has got a problem with their perfusion or with delivering oxygen to the brain or the other core organs. We can use three parameters to determine basic perfusion status just from seeing our patient and actually not even touching them. The rule is that if the patient has a problem with any one of these three criteria, then they are sick. If they have all three of these criteria normal, then we assume they're not sick until we find something otherwise later. This sets the whole tone of the entire call. Is this going to be stay and play or load and go? Number one, we look at the level of consciousness. Is it what you expect for someone who just called down on one or is it abnormal? If not, it might be a sign that there's altered mentation for some reason, including a lack of perfusion. Number two, work of breathing. Really, we're not looking for a number here. We're just trying to determine does it look fast or slow or does it look like they're breathing abnormally? If anything is abnormal, then we consider them to be sick. And then number three, we look at their skin color. And across the room, we can't tell a lot, but skin color tells us a little bit about their perfusion and other issues. If the skin is not the color that you expect it to be, then we assume this patient is sick until we prove these things otherwise. Use these three parameters when you first see your patients and decide in the first few seconds whether the patient is sick or not. Change your position once you find more information later in the call in your primary or secondary assessment. I hope that was helpful. If you like this, follow and comment for more. Stay safe.